Wednesday, November 29th, and Pastor is saying to us, focus on the spiritual. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. In Luke chapter 22, the Bible tells us how Jesus announced his impending death as he had communion with his disciples. He used the occasion to reveal that one of them, Judas Iscariot, will betray him. Shortly afterwards, Judas approached the priests and scribes and agreed to lead them to Jesus in exchange for money. When they got to Jesus, he said to them, When I was daily with you in the temple, you stretched forth no hands against me, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. Luke chapter 22, verse 53. Why did Jesus say, This is your hour and the power of darkness? Even though the prophetic word stated clearly that he'd be arrested, he was drawing our attention to something spiritual, which is the fact that the power of darkness was behind this arrest. This gives us a perfect example as to being spiritually alert. How conscious are you of who's controlling your thoughts and actions? When you make a decision, who's responsible? Always focus on the spiritual and not on the things you perceive with your physical senses. Be sure that your actions, thoughts, and desires are always God-inspired. Let the Holy Spirit lead and guide you in all things. Set your affections on Him. Colossians chapter 3 verse 2 says, Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Set your mind on the eternal Word of God and let the Holy Spirit be your teacher. The Bible says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Romans chapter 8 verses 5 to 6. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, by the power of your Spirit, I consciously exercise my mind to focus on the spiritual realities of the Word. Things that are honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report, virtuous, and praiseworthy. I'm spiritually minded, allowing only the thoughts guided by the word. To the praise and glory of your name. Amen. For further study, please read Romans chapter 8, verses 5 to 6, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 17 to 18, and Philippians chapter 3, verse 20. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read 2 Peter chapter 3 and Ezekiel chapters 41 to 42. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read John chapter 16, verses 1 to 11, and 1 Chronicle chapter 29. Rhapsody of reality.